Hey, it's Frito, and I want to remind you, before we get into today's topic, that the very best reason, I think, for you to start a podcast is because a podcast gives you the opportunity to introduce yourself to people that you've never met before. Um, it gives you the opportunity to show them how passionate you are about your business, your product, your service. It gives them the opportunity to see how much you care about serving them and how much pride you take in your work. A podcast gives you the opportunity to do all of that before people even meet you. They can they can hear your voice talk about your product, your business, your service. So that's, to me, the very best reason to start a podcast. Today, we're going to answer a question that I get asked by all of my clients, and that's, how do you measure success? I started a podcast. How can I measure the success of my podcast? And the obvious answer is download numbers. Um, we keep track of all the download numbers. And I'm going to tell you this. Download numbers is a way to measure your success. But in my opinion, it's not even in the top five ways to measure success. And I'll just give you some of the, the different ways you can measure success. And we're going to talk about one of them in particular. Um, other factors are engagement, um, your subscriber growth. Are you getting more subscribers and followers every day? Your brand awareness, are you increasing your brand awareness? And by the way, that number is always going up. Whenever you do a podcast, it's not, will my brand awareness increase? It's how quickly will it increase? So brand awareness is another one. Feedback is also a great indication of the success of your podcast. Are you getting feedback? Are people talking to you saying, hey, I heard you say this on your podcast? And then the one I want to talk about specifically today is impact. And to me, impact is the key measure of success. It's not download numbers. It's what kind of impact are you having on your audience? And when I say impact, what I'm talking about is how much value are you providing the listeners, the people who take the time to download your podcast and listen to it? Are you giving them valuable information? Are you entertaining them? Are you educating them? When they finish listening to your episode, do they feel like they've accomplished what they wanted to accomplish when they downloaded the episode? Um, let's talk about education. A lot of my clients use the podcast to educate their audience. They're not looking to entertain people. They're looking to provide you with information about their business. They're experts in their business, and they want to share their knowledge with you. So that's one way to measure the impact of your podcast. Are you educating your audience? Um, inspiration is one I love. Um, I'm hoping that not only am I educating you when you listen or watch these podcasts, but you're getting inspired to do it for yourself. Um, not only does that mean more business for me, to be honest with you, but I want to inspire people to take risks and to do things that they normally wouldn't do without maybe a little nudge by me. So I'm hoping that I can inspire you to do things, whether it's a podcast or, heck, bungee jumping, to do things you've always wanted to do but for some reason or another, have decided not to do it. So inspiration is another great way to measure impact. Entertainment. I've got a lot of clients who just, they want to entertain you. And in a lot of ways, that can brighten someone's day. It can really be a pick-me-up. And that's their goal with their podcast, is to be entertaining. And then another way to make an impact is connecting people. Your podcast can really be a valuable tool in connecting your listeners with a community of like-minded listeners who all have the same goal and the same passions for whatever their hobbies are or their interests are in life. So you can really connect people through a podcast. So those are different ways that your podcast can make an impact. And it doesn't really matter what the download numbers are. If you're making an impact, 
you're succeeding. Your podcast is successful if it's making an impact on other people. Ultimately, the impact of a podcast is going to be determined by the ability that you have to provide value to your listeners. And I think we all have the ability to provide some value to some listeners. Now, some of us may have an ability to provide a bigger value to a much bigger audience. But when it comes right down to it, whether you're impacting one or two people or a thousand people, you're still making an impact. And to me, that's the important goal. 